In this lesson, we're going to use a light box to have a look at the law of reflection. The light box shines light out of both sides, but we're going to use the side that produces nice, clean, straight beams. The kit comes with a quadruple ray forming plate, a triple ray forming plate, a fat single ray forming plate, or a thin single ray forming plate, which is the one we'll be using in this prac. The other side of the light box that has the mirrors is useful for studying color. You can mix, for example, red light with blue light, or green light with red light, but we're not going to use the mirror side in this lesson. The aim of this practical exercise is to find out how a light beam's angle of incidence compares with its angle of reflection. To do this, we need to accurately record the path of the light rays and then use a protractor to measure the angles. The instructions are all on the Law of Reflection prac sheet, but I'll show you what to do right now. Firstly, draw a line on a piece of paper and then place the back surface of the mirror on the line, since most of the light reflects from the back surface. You can see when we get a close-up that the mirror's back surface is on the line, while the glass is in front of the line. Direct the light ray at an angle towards the mirror and mark the path of the incident and reflected rays by placing two small dots on each of them. Using a ruler, connect the dots with straight lines. You can now measure the angle of incidence and the angle of reflection with a protractor, which is best placed like this. The line marked 90 degrees on the protractor will be your zero degrees, so in this case, the angle of reflection is 35 degrees, and the angle of incidence is also 35 degrees. So, just repeating, when using a protractor in this situation, you have to ignore the degrees marked on it and measure the angle of each light ray with respect to the normal. The angle of incidence in this case is 10, 20, 30, 35 degrees, and the angle of reflection is 10, 20, 30, 35 degrees as well. Once you've measured the angles, you can draw in the normal line and mark in the angles and the direction that the light was traveling in. Do a total of four so-called ray tracings, making sure that you vary the incident angle each time, fill in the table and answer the questions.